Hello, and welcome to my channel, Planners by Christine. If you're like me, you've created planners, and when they've exported out of Keynote, the files have been huge, and you've been having all kinds of lag, and it's been so frustrating. Well, guess what? I figured out what the problem was, and I have a solution. Now, I'm not talking about a file that you export from Keynote into a PDF and then compress. I'm talking about the file that initially comes out of Keynote will be dramatically smaller. Instead of something like 80 megabytes, it'll be eight megabytes. So this is something that you're gonna to want to learn how to do. And this is something you can do on an iPad. I have another video that shows you how to do it on a laptop, but today we're gonna to focus on the iPad. So please make sure and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. All right, so today we're going to talk about how to create a smaller PDF file when you create a digital planner so that you don't have lag. This video assumes that you already either watched my tutorial on how to create a digital planner on an iPad or that you already know how. If you just watched the tutorial on how to create a digital planner on an iPad, this might look familiar. I deleted all of the slides that were in here and just kept the one that shows the master slide. But here's what we do. We go into our master slide. So I'm going to tap this so I can access it, edit slide layout, and I have my master slides. Now these are the slides that I created. It has the layers, it has the layer of tabs, it has the layer with the rings and the paper. So if I were to move, start tapping things, you, I can I could make changes and I don't want to, of course. But all these layers is what causes your file to be huge when you export it into PDF. So we already built our monthly spread, our weekly spread, and our daily spread. So now I'm going to press done and I'm going to add each of those files. So we've got our monthly, our weekly, and our daily. So we have four different slides based on the master slide. And what we're going to do is export them as images. So I'm gonna come over to the three dots, export images. I'm gonna do all of them. I'm gonna leave it as a JPEG high quality. I'm not going to include builds. I just want the final product. I'm gonna press export and it does it pretty quickly. I'm gonna share it to my camera roll. All right, now I'm gonna go back to presentations and I'm going to, I wanna create a new presentation. So I'm gonna press plus choose a theme, choose a classic white presentation. I'm gonna clean all this up because we don't want any of this. Come to the three dots, document setup, slide size, custom. I put the size of my iPad Air. Done, done. All right, now what I wanna do is access the master slides. So I'm going to tap on this, edit slide layout, Let's get rid of this. And I don't want any of these, so I'm gonna delete all these. So I have the title, the, the main one and the blank one. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this because I need a total of four because there were four images, remember. So I'm gonna to come to this one. I'm gonna to go to the plus sign, photo or video, and I'm gonna grab that image that I just exported. Come to this one, photo or video, choose the monthly. Okay, so I brought all of them in. And if you want, you can change the name. So these are all master slides. So I'm gonna press done. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna choose monthly. I'm gonna delete this because this was just kind of a default thing and I just, I don't want it. So now what I want to do, and some of these aren't, they're not perfect. That's okay. We're just doing this for demonstration purposes. So that's all right. So right now this is simply an image. So there's nothing to tie links to. So we need to create something to tie links to. So I'm gonna press the plus sign, go to shapes, grab one of these, and try to make it about the same size as this one. I'm gonna to go to format, choose no fill, so that it's just a blank little square. And I'm gonna copy it, paste it, select objects, select both, copy, paste, select objects, grab three of them, copy, paste, select objects and grab seven of them. And then we can do all the boxes. OK, 
Okay, so I've all the boxes have something to tie links to now. We need to do the same thing for the triangle. So I'm gonna come over to the plus sign and grab a triangle. Make it a little smaller. Take away the fill. Copy and paste it so that all of the triangles have something to tie a link to. All right, so now all of the squares, all of the triangles have something to tie links to. So the next thing I wanna do is actually put the month name at the top. So I'm gonna to go to text, change my font to match what I've been using. Okay, once I have that, January is ready. Now I'm gonna duplicate this 11 times. So copy and paste, so now I have 12. So I just need to go through and change the, the name of the month for all of them. All right, so we have all of our months. And now what we wanna do is bring in our weekly spread and we need to have 60 copies. This is an undated planner. So we need to have 60 because there are five weeks times 12 months. So we need 60 of these. Okay, we have 72. So we have our 60 weekly spreads plus our 12 monthly spreads for 72. Next, we're gonna add our daily. And of those, we'll need 420 because there's 35 on the monthly view. There's, of course, 12 months and there are 35 squares. So we need 420 of our daily spread. All right, so we have a total of 492 slides. So there's 420 daily spreads, 60 weekly spreads, and 12 monthly spreads. So now that we have all the slides in here, we're ready to start linking. And the fastest way to do it is actually if you open this on iCloud on your computer, but you can do it here. It's just gonna take more time. But we come over to, and we see 13 is the first weekly spread. So we come to January, we come over here, link, link to slide 13. Oh, and I just realized that we didn't do our, we didn't put the months on here. So actually let me come over here and edit slide layout and we can put our months on here and link to our slides. So if we go to the plus sign text, Call it Jan, change our font, and we want to turn it. So we go to Arrange, and we rotate it. And drag it over here. I actually like it to be a little bit bigger to fill the whole thing. Let me make this font larger, and then we can copy and paste it. Okay, so we have all of our months, and since we already have the month monthly spreads, we can create the links. So I'm gonna to go to January, link, link to slide one, and we'll go through and link all of our slides. Once we have all of our links, we can come over here and choose select objects, select all, but then deselect this cover. So everything that's selected will because it's an image, it was just the image and what we just added. So we chose select all, deselected that and done. Copy. Now we can come over to our other pages and paste. These are again our master slides. So now all of our slides, all 492 slides have the links for the months. So we were starting to do our weekly spread. So this is number 13. So then this one will be 14. Etc. So we'll go through, you go through and do all of those. And then we need to see which is our first daily slide, daily spread slide. I think it's 73. Yeah, 73. So we come back to January, link, link to slide. And like I said, it's faster on the computer because you could just type in the number instead of having to scroll through. So I'm just going to do a couple of these. And you don't want to just say next slide because if you add something in, it just it messes things up. So you want to have the specific slide selected. So let's do a few. So once you have arrows on every square, what I do to make sure I didn't skip any or duplicate any is I come back and I select it and I'm just kind of count and make sure they're right. So I see, okay, 73, 74, 75, 76, and do the whole month. And I do that month by month until I'm done. So once we have all of our slides linked together, the one thing to know is with with this technique you can come down to the bottom and if you want you can still add additional pages so you can come down here do the plus sign add 
your main master slide to, to your screen. And then you can put in like a reading log or whatever. That's not gonna blow up the size of your PDF file. It's all these 492 slides that really made the difference. We already took care of that by using images. So you can add as many things as you want in addition to those initial daily, weekly, and monthly spreads. Because we're using images here, it's not going to blow up your slide. So let's go ahead and export and let's see what size it is. So we'll go to export PDF, leave our defaults, export, and look how fast that's moving. That tells me it's gonna be small. I'm gonna go to save to files, planners in tutorial, save. I have a couple of them now. So let's go into that folder. So this is the one I just did, it's nine megabytes. This is the one I did earlier and I didn't hadn't even added all of the daily spreads. I'd only had four and it was already, look how big the file was. So look how small this is to start with. Now it's gonna be, it might be slightly larger when you do links, but it's not gonna be anywhere near as big as it would be with a traditional method. Using this technique, where we use images instead of the file, instead of the slides with all the layers, makes all the difference in the world. And then in addition to this, you can go to a website like ilovepdf.com and choose the PDF compression and upload this PDF file and it'll compress it down to probably seven. You're gonna have a lag-free planner in this situation. So if this video helped you, I would sure appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and like the video. I'm gonna have other videos in the future with helpful tips and tricks, but I hope that this helped you and helps you to avoid frustration.